cocoa butter. Smells mad strong, like nothing overpowered that shit. Cocoa butter. Mm. That one right there, the, uh, mm-hmm. the almonds, mm-hmm. the oil, coconut butter, John. That oh, shit be hitting, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I love that shit right there. And the way it smells, man, good. Shit got your nose shining down, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I gotta figure out something. I gotta, you know, my <clears throat> shit, you know, the oils in your face is right at my nose, though, bro. Yeah, me too. <laughs> my old. shit be extra annoying, son. Niggas need real. facials, pause. Yeah, I need to go to one of the one of the female stores, find out which oils and mm-hmm. shit is good. But I need the CBD ones though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need my CBD. I, I found this uh, this oil for my back pain CBD. I'm gonna buy it and test it out, see yeah. if it gives me some relief or not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But welcome back, Whatever welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. This part two to 2021 year. Rap. Yeah, hope you guys watched the first one. If not, watch it. Mm-hmm. Go see what we got up there. We spoke on. The events that happened last year, we spoke on, man, different shit, mm-hmm. right? A few deaths. The verses, um, some of the deaths that happened. Um, uh, what else? We um, came with pretty Basically, simple. just current events, more, more so on that. You know? Mm-hmm. But uh, here, here, here we are on the eve of uh, New Year's. As Happy they say. New Year's Eve to everybody. everybody. That's it. And a happy new year's We will be dropping this episode today As we record It's gonna drop probably like 3pm, 4pm Wow, wow, wow You know what I mean? This will be the last episode for the new For the la- for 2021 mm-hmm. Get this shit over with Yeah, man So what's good? How you feeling today? I know how you feeling today but um, Yeah, <laughs> but I'm good, man As always You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't stay down too long, man No matter what's going on But I'm alright I'm here I'm here, baby yeah, we here, we here. I'm still here. I'm still strong. That's a great movie, man. Yeah, man. I think of that, that line so many times in my life. I so. say that shit all the time. So I love that movie, so that's yeah. one of my favorite movies. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm good, man. They could never break me. I'm built to last, man. Like Duracell. That's a fact. That's a so, fact. I'm good. What's I'm going good, on? It's still my favorite holiday. I'm not gonna. Yeah, you can't. You can't let nothing discourage you. Nah, nah, if, nah. if it's something that you like, especially like a holiday day, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You don't really celebrate anything else. Fuck it. I'ma just chill. Yeah, I already started my Max. drinking yesterday. <laughs> I'm a little tipsy right now, but I'm nice. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. do the. I'm gonna do the work thing and just chill at work. Hopefully, my relief come a little early. See where niggas is at. Hmm. Right, hey, hold on. But you know, you get older, you uh, New Year's, you wanna just chill in the crib, man. I heard they scaling back the uh the uh, ball drop. Yeah, they, Not too much. I mean scaling back, but it's still gonna be thousands of people out there, so what does it matter? You know, the same thousands that you cut back, these thousand people that's in this you know, close vicinity can potentially affect thousands of others, so yeah, that's I mean, who we will see what happens, man. I don't think this shit ain't nothing more than what the uh, what what the flu is, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I'm at, I'm really strongly at this point. CDC cut the quarantine and time and it off down to five, five days. days. You can be around people that I you see love. Bitch, I see the bitch, right? Face mask in your house, right? Shit. Nigga, I'm right. not looking stupid with no fucking. My mom's had the face mask on yesterday because. Her girl got sick. I'm like, yo, listen, man. Put her ass in the other room. And that's that. Spray Lysol under the door. And get, that's that. Why would Get us some zinc and orange juice. I thought we said we was going to talk about this on the last episode. No, no, no. But just, it's, it's just, just, it's real. I feel you. It's just, it's it's it annoying. applies to everything. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that's all I look at it is now, or as it is now. So It's annoying. So, like, my job right now, they like, yo, you might have to be on on leave if you don't get your shot. Yeah, John, I'm like, you gonna pay me? <laughs> how long you go how long y'all gonna pay me for? I might just stay on leave for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Then I might go back man, but see what happens with that. I'm not trying to work for nobody no more. I'm enjoying my freedom, it's just the paycheck ain't there, but I'm I'm really pushing forward to not working for anybody. 
very soon anymore, bro. And if I do, it's gonna be very, uh, it's gonna be part time or some shit. But I'm not far. It's, it's still too much time for me, and the plans that I have for this year, I need my time. They talking about wow. On January fifth, the legislative session begins. Here are some snapshots, just a few of the bills there. Forced COVID shots mandate to attend school. Vaccine record into a state database. Forced COVID shots for college to attend preschool daycare. Eliminate religious exemptions for work and college. Eliminate parents' consent to shots when a child reaches 14 years of age. Nah, this is other shit right here, bro. They wildin'. <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Gotta get the fuck out this world. <laughs> Where the other planets at, bro? We out there. They out there, but we here, we back, man. As we said, and um. Yeah, what what, what we got? What we got to recap, man? What we got to recap? Well, how you feeling? You always ask. I always try. I always let you get away. I'm with not that. in the right. I'm not in the right space right now. I really want to take a break from the pod. You know what I mean? Take a couple yeah. weeks off, and try to get shit situated. You know what I mean? But um. When I say shit like that, I try to sit back and see what's going on around me. And I'm not, I don't got the worst shit happening to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's my shit. So I try to just keep it internal and just try to deal with it the best way that I can. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, um, Likewise. Yeah. It's, it, it ain't, for me, it's not. I, at the end of the day, before I lay down, I tell myself, you know, shit ain't that serious. For me, my life, you know what I mean? The stuff that I'm going through, shit ain't that serious not. So just try to take a breather, you know what I mean? And if you could travel back in time, just tell your 13-year-old self to learn patience, nigga. Yeah. You already know, like me, you already know when I was younger than 13, you already know that you're not getting everything you wanted. You always wanted a big Christmas. You never got that. You know what I'm saying? You always wanted this. You never got that. You know what I'm saying? So I was always cool with AKA disappointment. You know what I'm saying? But patience was always my thing. I was like, I just want shit to either happen good or bad and it happened now. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck I got to wait for this shit? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, just skip me to the part where either I'm living good with my family and grandkids or I'm alone about to just kick the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all this shit in between is mad irrelevant, bro. This shit is corny, son. It's corny, everything in between. And that's why, like, I'd be like, oh, fuck it, bro. Like, I think I'm falling back into that, that like, um, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, a lot of people really want to be able to tell the shit I be going through. Like, <laughs> I said some. I said to somebody about the the shit, my, me and my mom's relationship, and it was like, wait, you're always there for her. You're always running to the hospital and going to get it, da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, but you don't know everything behind that. Whereas if I say it to you, to you it's like, this ain't nothing new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You've been there since I was 13 with this shit, going through this shit, so... You know, other people's like, I can't understand where it's like, I've been new what it was. <laughs> I've been saying it. And to be at this age and it still be prominent, it's like, it's like you mean all the shit in between. Yeah. Like, what does it really mean? It's just the memory. It's just the memories and shit. But when the memories start becoming like dark memories and shit, it's like, for what, bro? I should have just. We should have just closed the door when we needed to close the door. And I don't mean relationships. I mean everything. You everything. know what I'm saying? Family, friendships, jobs, jobs, um, and entrepreneurship opportunity. Anything that you're doing in this world, when it feels like it's time to close it, it's time to close it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because then you're forcing shit and then mm-hmm. animosity starts to build and then you not. I can't even think of the last good, good memory me and my girl had together. You know what I'm saying? Because now it's just always consistently arguing, bickering, 
just mad at each other not even mad at each other just like you look at each other and it's like disappointment like we could have been something different you know what i'm saying yeah. but we felt comfortable into this zone you know what i'm saying yeah. especially me i got comfortable i'm like yo we always it's always gonna be an argument so fuck it why not you know what i mean just indulge but it's like i'm still here you know what i mean i still i'm still trying to do this shit i'm still trying to force my mind to you know Try to calm down. My mind just keeps at a pace where it's I, like. I yeah, just hate Jesus that um, when I react to things, you know what I'm saying, as the human being that I am, people always go to, yo, you're angry. Yeah. It might be an angry reaction, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's not always anger that I'm feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like I hate I that. I had to get it up that time. Yeah, <clears throat> that might be how I express this frustration, annoyance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you, I meet my limit with shit, and I'm gonna react certain type of way. So, you know, I just hate that anger part because I don't even think I'm an angry person no more because I know what I used to be. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I could talk about shit, and, and but I said it, I'm, I'm gonna stop expressing. How I feel about certain things. I'm gonna go back to that, Nutch. Only to ones like with y'all and shit, and it's not even everybody, but the ones that understand what's being said and know how to have a conversation, an adult conversation. Because a lot of people be wanting to have adult conversations but don't know how to go about it. Yeah, because I was just talking to, um, shout out to Dave Auntie. Shout I was, out my boy Dave. I, I was just talking to Dave yesterday because I had to, uh, I wanted to double check to see if he was coming out to the show. Right, right. Cause he was on the set, but he said he was like, "Yo, I don't know if I got COVID, but I got the uh, contact tracing." Right, right, right. Right. I said, I put the funny emoji face. I said, "Yo, bro, that sound like a straight Tom Cruise movie." <laughs> nigga, contact tracing, starring Tom Cruise, <laughs> Minority Report oh, for COVID. <laughs> like, that nigga said, "Yo, you's a fool, boy." But then we got into what you talk about, real talk. He said, uh, he said, where I'm at, he said, I'm in MD, I'm in Maryland, and they do this shit for the COVID. And I don't know if they do that at NYC. So I'm like, oh, all right. But then that immediately moved my mind because for some, I don't know what I was watching, but it was something about Baltimore, right? And it was just showing the scenery. I'm like, yo, this shit is beautiful, bro. Yeah, it's nice out there. And then I remember when we went to the Wax Museum, I'm like, yo, I like the waterfront and shit. The wire, you know what I mean? I went through all my eyes. I'm like, then I'm like, yo, me and my girl, we think about moving. You know what I'm saying? I want to go west, but she want the seasons. So I'm like, oh, I've been thinking about Baltimore, Maryland, and some shit. I'm like, my Steelers visit. Got Lamar Jackson for the next ten years there. You know what I'm saying? I could watch that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could chill there. Oreos is trash. No basketball team, really. No basketball team. Washington. Travel to Washington. Go watch. How cool is you? <laughs> but okay, so I started talking to him about that, and you, he's talking grown man shit. You know, it's mm-hmm. a good place to raise a family. You know, this, that, and the third, and all this extra shit. And I'm like, yeah, that's these are the conversations that I want to have. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just be around just talking some dumb shit. Like, but yeah, man, I don't know, bro. It's the it's the poor rhetoric and criticism that gets me in that those conversations is. And it's not a lot it's of poor come. criticism, like, like I'm saying, instead of constructive criticism. If I'm out of pocket, I do something crazy. It's never been a time where you point out to me where I'm like, nah, fuck out of here. I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? If you telling me it's like... Yeah, but, but sometimes when I look at shit like that, when you tell me shit like that, and other people tell me shit like that about myself, I really put... I don't like put myself on a pedestal or toot my own horn. You know that. But mm-hmm. I think I consider everybody's feelings before I talk. Talk. I mm-hmm. consider putting myself in your shoes or some shit like that. And I, me personally, I get to know people. Mm-hmm. And I consider you as a person. Like, I know I compartmentalize all my people. I know how to treat you. Mm-hmm. I know how to treat you. And I know how to treat you. I just was scrolling down TikTok, the, a DJ Khaled video, and it's like... Everybody, you always so quiet. 
me around the people that I'm comfortable with. He dancing and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, that's me. Uh-huh. Everybody be like, yo, why this nigga so stoic and quiet and shit? Then when I'm with my girl, she's like, yo, you mad annoying, bro. Yeah. I, didn't, I don't even know that. I ain't know you was like this. Like, uh-huh. you just laughing and you just all up my, you you all up on me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I be like, this is when I'm comfortable, though. Right. You know what I mean? I could, I do that with my moms. I do that with my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, shit like that. So, but yeah. I'm kind of the same way, but I think I came out of my shell a little more over the past couple of years, and yeah. I see it. Yeah, so you, you get to know people, you know what I mean? And you compartmentalize them, and you treat them as such. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You treat them as such. So, with you, it's not never a criticizing thing, because... I know you don't like to be criticized. Mm. You know I hate to be tested. I hate people testing me. Like, let me see what he's going to do. <laughs> no, nigga. You ought to tell me, yo, Notch, we about to go down the block and jump this nigga. If you not with it, I roll the blood and I'll be back in a couple minutes. If you with it, let's go do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's not, no, yo, we going down the block. For what? You'll see. We'll see when we get there. What? <laughs> no, I don't play those games, my nigga. Yeah. Let me know what I'm getting into. And you don't like people like... Either criticizing you and telling you, yo, I'm doing this wrong, I'm doing this wrong. Tell me what I'm doing and then try to be like, yo, you could go about it this way, you could go about it that way. Yeah. But that's your life. I'm you. I'm talking to you because you told me that you wanted me to talk yeah, to you. You got to let me catch it. You can't, yeah. you can't, you can't a lot force of people it to like, me. Yeah, a lot of people like to force you and then shit gets twisted a certain way. I mean, I, I had it done with a couple friends that I did it to, you know what I'm saying, that we don't talk no more because I came... Off the wrong way, or my way of talking, they don't like that they shit. Don't like, you mad positive? I'm about to go. <laughs> All right, cool. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. But um, let's get back into this um, recap. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and close this shit. What up. you want to do? You want to do music right now? Let's do music. Fuck it. Let's keep it music. there. Music. It was a, it was a, it was a year. Great albums, but How independently you and, to and major shit. Something that I do. 20 years My son Lloyd Banks <laughs> Banks still had One of the best albums This Top year Top 5 albums this year Yeah 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 He held on to uh, The number 1 album For a few months I ain't gonna hold for you For a long time yeah At least a quarter of the year I would say that At least a quarter of the year um, Until probably Cold drop Until the Album of the year drop King Disease What you had His album of the year Donda Donda, yeah, Donda's album of the year. The I heard, uh, t- I, well, I listened to it. Tyler, the creator shit was fire. Top five. Um, mm. All right, my top five albums this year was Donda. Not, and not no order. Donda, the J Cole, Banks, King's Disease Two, mm-hmm. and I threw. I got two at my five. I got Soul Fly by Rod Wave and Amusing Her Feelings by Division. Those are okay. my two R&B joints that I do. I got to have Conway up there. La Machina was crazy. La Machina. I love that album. Those are, like, I think to round out my top ten is just being uh, <laughs> BSF. Uh, Griselda, my fault. Because you got Herman's 3000. Boldy shit was fire, Whatever too. <laughs> Voldy yeah. shit was fire. You gotta get, cause um, you was the one listening to all these. Mike Mackami shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, King's Disease, of course. So, um, and then you had all these independent, uh, you know, artists. New York Drill kind of like took off. What was what's your, more. what was the three ones that you was listening to? Your top three this Drill, New York Drill. These are uh, two six A R. That's that's the number one. Um, I would you say you got his copyright, bro. Come on, I know your shit hot, but <laughs> busy, busy banks. Uh, he fire. He's, fire. He's fire. I like that little nigga. I heard a couple tracks from him. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Bronx kind of took over. Oh, and honorable mention for one of my top albums is definitely in my top ten. Degree of difficulty was tough. Dizzy Spades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that fire. was dope. Um, who else? I oh, the Bronx. Yeah, um, free K Flock, free D thing. You know what I'm saying? The boy Bando up there. All the niggas up there, Warren. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yo, yeah, for real. Look, I understand, man. But y'all be niggas, love. chill. Y'all got mad. 
Y'all got some good music out here right they now. They got some dope music. They the Bronx kind of took it to another level with the whole drill sample, mm, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. going crazy right they did now. One, who did the uh, Who did the Christmas one recently? Man, them niggas. They did Jingle Bells. They did the Christmas Carol, and they did um. Uh, All I want for Christmas. <laughs> Niggas <laughs> did jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. I, I said these little niggas is losing their mind, but yeah. I love it because shows creativity, and we gonna take all this shit and make it ours. Yeah. So uh, New York, the New York drill scene kind of exploded a, a little more, mm -hmm. which is real good to see and get in tune with that. They just got it, like you say. Stay the fuck out of trouble. Stay out of jail. Stop beefing with each other, man. I understand it's the youth. I understand that we young. Like, yeah, young, you know what I'm saying? I understood we was in that, in but, those but shoes. But see, you saying it, and but you know how these streets are. You live That's there. That's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like we can say we, that. We can say it, but. Even though we know, know it might not change. It's not. They, but they, they have to have some, we didn't have somebody telling us, yo, chill. No, we didn't. The people before us didn't have nobody telling we us, We also chill. wasn't shooting each other than going in the but studio we were, and rapping But we had it, niggas like dance that. Rules. But we had no, not not, not like promoting that. it and shit. We had niggas that was crazy though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. promoting and it in the hood. It, you know what I'm saying? Making songs. Yeah, but keeping it in the hood. But yeah. now it just so happens that technology is different. You know what I'm saying? So these niggas is doing what they doing. So I feel like we are we are the older generation from them. That's probably like eight years older than them to ten. You know what I mean? That we should be some like, yo, of them 10, yeah, 11. just chill. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them probably twenty, cause uh, yeah, a lot of these niggas is eighteen. Uh, K Flock 17. is eighteen years old, bro. Hmm. About to be thirty four. I'm almost twenty years older than him. We almost a dub older than him, bro. I think we could be able to be like, yo, I understand, like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we understand because we still vibing to your music. Yeah. We understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We understand what you can't walk these New York streets and you know what I mean. But I understand. But at the same time, there's always that somebody. It's a way, to, be like, it's a way to handle that. Yeah, it's, it's a way to character. But then, and that's the thing now too. We need them. some sort of counsel. They so. big homies is not us. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. old heads shit to is, them. Shit is mad different. Yeah. They big homies is twenty five. 26 it's like the NBA little, little yeah. niggas that we was you know what I'm saying it's like taking, the NBA the taking vet, on field trips and shit the vet on the bulls is the Rosen he yeah. 32 you know what I'm saying <laughs> so they still they influenced by them and that's the issue but as far as the music wise the shit is dope and I would love to hear now, New York music is tough right now I would love to hear features from all these niggas together right <laughs> yeah but I'll never get that I never get that because gang shit is went to a whole nother level from when we was younger. You know, it was either he was Blood, Crip, or Lion King, so or he was neutral. It's now it's, it's extra and it's, it's niggas is this K. I seen niggas talking about they Marcy K. Ran down on a nigga and beat him up. I was like, wait, wait, hold on. If you, if you don't do that because then it gets a little different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. Just keep the music going, and, and when you get there, you get hot. Leave the extra shit for your mans, bro. That, but, that's what um, I say. So, what were some of the um, other standout albums to you? Uh, I like um, Florent Tool. Florent Tool. Oh man. shit! Punk by Young Thug was one of the top albums this year. Uh, Russ album was fire. The Trump. one that yes. Trump too. Yes. That shit is fire. I like that a lot, a lot. That's he one said, of my favorites. He um, said that's one of the slangs they use when you like ripping the beat or something. When you yeah, doing it, he was like, chomp. yo, I'm about to chomp on this shit. So he was like, yo, I just want everybody to just eat right now. You know what I'm saying? So he had all the features on it. It was a features album, basically. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he wanted to test his skills with everybody. I okay. like that album. Um, the new Nas shit is dope, too. Magic. I ain't hear it yet, but I just saw fire. it. I just saw it. Him and Hitboy, you got it, right? Yes. This shit fire. I like it. I like if it, it ain't broke, um, don't break it. Rush, um, CLB um, came out. Drake, Cole, Kanye. It was a big Drake? year for music. You said Drake? Drake did drop an album. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm saying out the people that dropped this. I didn't album. like it. 
Me neither. But he dropped the album and um I don't think he liked it either because he didn't he didn't do a lot for it to enter or during while it was Shout out to Drake. Oh and another note for really fucking with battle rap the way he do. Like that's why I fuck with Drake right now. Like I respect that. Being at events, buying niggas drinks and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Supporting the battles, putting extra bread on it. And Dorsey had his own card. Mm -hmm. He had the Drake card a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? This is the biggest artist in the world. You know what I'm saying? And he's still in touch. But it made me think, right? But niggas have said this. Um, can you, f like... Imagine the fact that Drake is still not fully accepted by the music industry. Who, me? Yeah. Do I believe it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> but I told you that. I, I said that in the beginning. But he I, he, he, um, he over exceeded whatever I thought. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think he was going to be in, in the rap game 10 plus years. This is because it's following. Yeah. This nigga following. got two fucking countries following him. You can't deny it. Right, you can't deny it. Well, he I got uh, he got such a female fan base. This nigga has Sprite commercials. But I'm not surprised by. It, it doesn't seem like a decline, but it's a decline. You know what I'm saying? But I'm Niggas not surprised. Said, I think in a Russ interview I was watching, and it was like, "Yo, what powers that be? I try to make sure he doesn't Hold surpass." Up. Oh, surpass whoever. Yeah, I mean, I because he's not supposed to be here. And that all goes to like you got to keep the integrity to this rap game. You can't say that Drake is a top five artist all time, bro. That is ridiculous to me. Just because it sells, and and you know me, me and you always argue over this because I'm in both. I put my foot in both lanes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I I love statistics, but I love skill. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not either or for me, but it's a balance of both. Like, bro, you got to be nice, bro. That's why I still have... It's not 50-50 for you, though. It's never 50-50 for me, no. I lean a little more probably towards the statistics. Okay. Probably just a little more just so... that Because that's a concrete thing to be like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we all know Skip to my Lou is that nigga. Mm -hmm. But is Ray for Austin that nigga? <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though he went to a finals and shit, no? I mean, he, he that nigga. He that nigga. He stuff. did his thing in the NBA, you know what yeah, I'm saying? he wasn't supposed to be there neither. But if you put the statistics there, it's like, all right, he's not better than Chris Paul. Mm -hmm. But he might get, I mean, not might, he will clip Chris Paul to business out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just so I, I probably lean towards the statistic a little more just to crunch the numbers and make it more concrete, you know what I mean? But in rap it's such a different thing because I might lean towards the skill more, you know what I'm saying? I think because that's what is primarily <laughs> That's what it's built off, yeah. It's built on. It's not about sales or anything. Man, that's from jump. You hear artists before they take off and you like like let's be for real, you brought Drake to me. Mm -hmm. He's like, boy, and I like this. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is before he sells a fucking record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, in a sense, still noticed the talent. So you knew it was there. Mm -hmm. It was just once shit got repetitive to you, it was like, bro. It's like they almost like they almost in the same class, right? Like, <clears throat> like the baby is not better than Benny the Butcher. You know what I'm saying? Like, skill-wise. But then you're going to look at the stats. You're going to look at the stats and be like, oh, but why? He's probably better because I see him more and he sells platinum and all that. You know what I'm saying? But you, it's all on you. That's why everybody says it's a perspective thing. That's why I love music. You know what I'm saying? And if you like him, you like him. That's cool. Give me a reason why you like him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was upset at my brother. Boy went and bought Tony A.O. album. I said. Official. Like, you pay fourteen ninety nine for that, bro. For one song. The nigga went platinum though. Yes, he did. That album went platinum. Thoughts of a Predicate Felon, and that's probably one of the worst albums ever made in the creation of music, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. That album was doodle. 
he lucky he had 50 Young Buck and Lloyd Banks in them tracks. But <clears throat> do you know what this is? One shot, one what's the good? But my independent artist is that the greatest pump fake ever? That was the greatest single because ever. That single drop, <laughs> nigga said, it's no way this album gonna be trash, okay, right? If he got shit like this, he not rapping he hard. Gotta have but, that. He gotta have shit like the this, The hook right? is crazy. Banks had already dropped Uncle for More was crazy. Was too, yeah, come on. And then they dropped this. They got Buffy in it. They did the... Uh, nah. They did the, they, they, they did the G-Unit album before his? I don't think so. Yeah. Because he was yeah, in jail. Yeah, locked up. And they he had, had his face on the wall. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, Watching so here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. Don't tell <laughs> Predicate back. Don't he yell back. Then bro got... Fuck John, John Cena. Cena. Fuck John, John Cena. Cena stole that shit from him. <laughs> you feel me? Had Buffy the body in the video. That beat was crazy. She was bad, but she was one of them. And that album was ass. We gotta have that conversation one day. Top five video vixens in our era. Buffy? I found a new Buffy. A new one? Yeah, yeah, you showed me. I showed you that. Yeah. But my top my, my top artists, like independent artists that I was listening to was like the niggas that we had on the show like Evan, LXD Evan, yeah. yeah like Rita Monet dropped a couple tracks mm -hmm. Dolly just dropped Dolly. another um, mixtape mm -hmm. like we said uh, Dizzy Spade Tay Sav Tay Sav you know what I mean shout out to all of them you know what I'm saying GWO Goon World all that I was listening to them mm -hmm. uh, Culture 3 dropped this year mm, it was alright mm. it was cool a lot of shit dropped and cause music it was, was slow in the beginning this year it was good for the moment and then it was like alright cool that's why I might be forgetting about a few albums but those were the albums I know I was fucking with besides my drill niggas yeah so in no particular order what was your top five albums that you were listening to this year uh, top five that I listened to I would probably uh, go Cole Banks Conway, um, mm, it's tough after three. <laughs> yeah, because there's a couple ones that could fight at that. Yeah, cause, and then there's Lucy's, like, in the, but I would probably say, um, because I ain't listening to Donda completely too much. King's Disease, I would just took tracks from Donda. Um, King's Disease and probably Chomp, Chomp too, because I'm still listening fire, to that. Fire. We're still listening to Chomp. Russ Holler. Yeah. How much you want for an interview? Mm. <laughs> that nigga gonna be like 250. That nigga's got to own y'all shit. <laughs> we do, man. Feel me? So those. I are, had uh, Kanye, Cole, Banks, Rod Wave, and Division in my shit. Okay. Those are just the albums that I was listening to, you know what I'm saying? And, and like you said, there was a lot of artists that dropped a lot of like single tracks and shit like that. Oh, what's the name dropped to um Still Over It? Summer Walker. Oh yeah. Snow White. Uh Snow White. Uh, the um I forget her name. The Heartbreak and Get Back album. Oh yeah, uh, Hotels, Jasmine Sullivan dropped this year. Yeah, that was around my birthday. Yeah, that was fire. A lot of on. I really love that project. SZA dropped her a couple singles. She dropped her remastered album. Mm -hmm. uh, she's about to drop a new album. Uh, and shit like that, you know what I mean? So, music music was good, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? It, it was better than last year. It definitely was. So, um, was it? Yeah, album of the year is Donda, like you said, right? Yeah, Donda was the best album yeah. of the year to me. You think you really think it was better than Cold shit? Yeah. It was better than Cold shit and um, Bank shit. Well, Banks and Cold, two and three, whichever way you want to put them. Um, uh, it's crazy. I definitely got Cold's album of the year. I'm not mad at that. Uh, Grammy-wise... I think King's Disease 2 could do it again. Album of the year? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, they more than likely give it to Donda. 
Donda was just the production was on point, the lyrics were on point, and him getting back to not being him, not being ye, yay, you know, Kanye, whatever, Kanye, tada, but growing into where he was going, you know what I'm saying? He more comfortable in his space right now, you know what I mean? But why niggas ain't drop with Cole like they said they was gonna do the scared? I feel that <laughs> Cole had a this is one of Cole's classic albums. Right? I feel like if all three of them albums drop at the same time or a week apart, it kind of... But I still, for me, I still think this was just the tester. I what, think, Cole shit? Yeah, I think... All right, so then I'm saying, if them shits dropped at the same time, I think he will outshine them. And I'm not talking about record sales or anything. It's just the listening. At the same time, like, it's yeah. dropping. It's like, I Probably, listen. but for me... You're going to fuck with Donda, of course. You know, It's Donda. just certain tracks on Donda that I got on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> I got them shits on repeat. They make me feel I love the Fabio Forum verse. Like... Polo G dropped the album this year. What was that, Famous? Yeah, yeah, something like that. A few people dropped this year. I didn't listen to everything because oh Tyler the Creator, excuse me. No, Tyler the Creator. Damn, bro, that top five is different because Tyler the Creator shit was fire too. Yeah, I'll probably have to put one of my R and B joints in the in my second top five. Yeah, Russ in might my, have to back, back. Russ might have to go down. I might six. have to put um. Uh, damn, I love Rod Wave and I love the Vision, bro. But the vision shit was stupid this year, bro. The yeah, vision shit was fire. Nah, the vision could move into the next top. So I'll keep Rod Wave and I'll put um, Tyler the Creator shit in there. Tyler the Creator shit was hard. Yeah, it was. His shit was fire. It's two years in a row. He could win yeah, Grammy, that nigga, Grammy album of the year too. Yeah, that's that nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. But this year was the year for TV. Yes, sir. Entertainment. TV and us. movies. You know what I'm saying? Seen the Snowfall commercial? Yeah, fuck that shit though. We not we not talking about that right I'm now. Just, That's twenty twenty two. I was just saying. I just asked that. Was that, that in twenty twenty one? Yeah, man. It's not what one of my top about? shows. Twenty twenty one. What? Because you was bugging the fuck out. Now that was this year. Yes. Snowfall season four. With the cane. Yeah, yeah. that was twenty twenty one. Yes. Nah, that was hard. That was all. I mean, but you know how I felt about this season. I wasn't really like too. He was hating on my. I boy. was kind of hating on this season. You know what I'm saying? Still them roaches. <laughs> <laughs> that's still my, one of my favorite shows to watch, though. Yeah, that's it's about to come back. But um, TV definitely took off this year, especially uh, Disney, man. Yo. <laughs> I love all the shows and all the movies and everything, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the Disney app mm-hmm. sucks ass, bro. Yo, you know why? You can't, like, if you're watching it, you know when you could do the two screen shit, when you could, like, go to your home and it'll be small, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that with Disney. Nah. When you press the 10 second shit to go back a little bit, why is that delay there that for so right. long? Oh, I just wanted to go back 10 seconds, bro. <laughs> that should be hurting yeah, my feelings. Really. I that go back 10 minutes. <laughs> like, the app sucks. Yeah. They got to work on the app. But they, yeah. thanks to Disney and uh, thanks to Marvel and all that, they got a nice book. Marvel and Star Wars is what really. Because yeah, I don't go. watch the Star Wars shit, but I know, I know that they dropping a lot of shit. Fire shit. So they just put the Boba Fett shit out. I, I see that I see that they in their lane where they could take out single characters and uh-huh. do their story and all that. That's uh-huh. hard. You know yeah, it's dark. That's what's keeping <laughs> them alive, bro. Yeah, Marvel and Star Wars definitely. <laughs> Everything else is cool. It's for the kids. They could watch the old movies and all that, but they're not interested in that. That's for that us. Shit. But the Marvel shit and all that, that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? That's where it's yeah, at. Yeah, I think everything is hitting. You touched on the other day that Loki was trash. And, um... I finished it. It wasn't trash. It was trash. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't trash. It was trash. It was, um, for me, like I told you, 
it was slow and boring and Drawn tedious out. and like emotional. At, yo, for the first couple times that I was trying to watch it, I was like, that nigga wanted to fuck it so. I was falling asleep, but I'm like, yo. Yeah, he fell in love with the girl, right? That's him. That's him, right? From different yeah, universes different and shit. Yeah. I'm like, all right, bro. Then he was <laughs> like, I might be gay and shit. I'm like, all right, low-key, relax, bro. Keep it low. Key. Key. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> but it was That was probably the toughest episode, though. The last when, one? The, the last one was good. It was drawn out again. The one before that, when he met all of them. Mm-hmm. And then oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was probably the toughest episode of the whole yeah, yeah. series. When he met all of them, he met Kid Loki, uh-huh. the alligator. Uh-huh. The older one was hard. He, yeah. uh, <laughs> he was tough, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was fine. And then my son, he's becoming slowly one of my favorite actors, bro. Uh-huh. I, I forget his name, though. That's fucking Me up. too. Damn. I know it started with a J or something like that. The black guy from, um, they all fall. The harder they, the harder they fall. The harder they fall. Yes. Damn, what's his name? I'm gonna get it. But uh, he played King Conqueror. Yeah. One that lives. He played the one who lives. That King the Conqueror is when he came back, and that nigga was the statue. He mad funny, bro. Yeah, he mad funny. I like the way he did that. And they said that the part when he like, we just passed the point over time, that's when Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Yeah. When he stopped and looked around like, what the fuck is that? (laughs) Somebody just wilded out. He said, shit might be over, y'all, so what you going to (laughs) do? You going to bother me or what? (laughs) Yeah, Loki was cool. Uh, Out of them shows? What was the what was the best one? The Marvel. Yeah, those spin off. Those. Um, I might go with Hawkeye. Hawkeye was tough, bro. I fucked with that. Falcon and Winter Soldier was the best one for me. Yeah, it was cool. Then Hawkeye. It was real racist, but it touched on a lot of a lot of racist shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why I liked it. I know. My son Isaiah Isaiah Bradley was wilding. Yeah. But um WandaVision was cool. Yeah. What if was tough. What if it might be my favorite though. What if was tough. I'm I'm watching. What if might be my favorite. Uh some shit you gotta watch for the whole um series. Uh but as far as movie wise in the next phase oh, was tough, bro. Ten Rings, man. I like but that you know shit who King the Conqueror is, right? Mm-hmm. He ain't lied. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's going to be tough. The Young Avengers, when they start doing that shit mm-hmm. with Kate Bishop and yeah. all them niggas, that shit is going to be tough. But, bro. Yeah, this next phase is going to start. Ten Rings. Yeah, yeah Ten Rings, Shang-Chi. That shit was that hard, shit was bro. Fire. That shit had one of the best scenes, bro. I just watched it again the other day. That bus scene was hard. Yeah, niggas went crazy. She said, who the fuck is you? Yeah. He said, I got you, wow. Relax. That's so went crazy on them niggas, man. That. that movie was dope. Nah, man. that movie <laughs> was hard. That shit might be better than... It's better than Spider-Man. Nah, I don't mean like that. Intro movies. That shit might be up there, bro. <laughs> you think it's the best intro movie? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's the best intro movie, Cap? Of course, it's the first Avenger, bro. And then who? The worst one is Captain Marvel. All right, we're going to get that out the way. <laughs> Ant-Man is one of my favorite movies, bro. Ant-Man. Cap, Ant-Man. You know who I hate it and I love now. Uh, Iron Man was tough. The first one was tough. The second and third one. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, what we doing? He, he was tough first in all the Avenger fire. movies. The first one was tough. Up. Uh, Black Panther, of course. Oh, Black Panther. That's yeah. That's, that's the three. A, is it? The three. Of Cap, course. Black Panther, Wakanda anyway. forever. Yeah, Sounds fuck it. Like, let's just go racial with it. You know what I'm saying? White cap, black Black Panther, Chinese something. Like Ant Man is for. Ant Man is there. You know what I'm saying? He the Jew. The white man got back up. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Shit, if I call me and say that. <laughs> oh. You think so? You think Shang-Chi better than the first? It is better than the first, the first Ant-Man. first Ant-Man? 
It is. It's better. It's it better. Is. But it Ant is. Man is just so wholesome and yeah. just so funny. But and this just, is dope. It's Paul Rudd. Like, who don't love Paul Rudd? Like, come on. Yo, you peep that they trying to make the Shang Chi character gay though. Yeah, they saying that he might have a man. <laughs> it's all right, yo. Listen, but you peep it though, right? See, like his best friend is like a girl that's not like bad. Yeah, she's like a tomboy. Like it's tomboy, like, yeah. She like driving and all that. Then put him around no love interest. Yeah, like, made you fuck with him now. So when he <laughs> pop up with his shorty, it ain't gonna be like you won't be like oh, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> It's crazy. Nah, Shang Chi was hard, bro. I really liked that movie. It was tough, bro. And he smoked his pops. His mom's is that nigga, son. Well, she said that's when I met your pops. He tried to front. <laughs> <laughs> Put the wind on his ass. <laughs> they staring at each other when she turned to him. That nigga sad. Oh, you bad? How you holding up with me? See in this. <laughs> <laughs> See, and it's up twice. Yeah. Nah, that movie was. Movie is dope. So, um, I feel like Marvel, like you said, is holding down. Black and Widow was tough. Black Widow was fire. Black Widow was tough. Uh, too late, but it's fire. It but I late. like uh, Galena, her sister, who yeah. was also in Hawkeye. I mm-hmm. fucks with her. Mm-hmm. I fucks with her character, her body. DC did say. some nice work this year. They did. The D Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad was dope. John Cena and them. Suicide Squad was dope. Yourself, but what else they do? Zack Snyder's Justice League. Titans. Uh, this season of Titans was fire. This season of Titans. Uh, it's not in the DC, but that's DC. Yes, it is. It's not with the DC EU. Oh. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know what I mean? I you know what I mean? But they under the same section on it, it HBO Max. It should be. That's you cool. I mean? All right, cool. All right, let's so they going like nah, that. Titans was tough. Season Titans three? Was, yeah. <laughs> she got crazy. She got crazy. The last, the, the last two episodes before the last episode was trash. Yeah, drag. But drag. The last They got on their real hard. comic book shit nah. for a second. Titans was hard, bro. Titans was hard. Titans was fire. Oh. Shazam wasn't this year? No. That was 2020, right? That was 2019. Oh, Shazam was hard, though. Shazam was yeah, hard. Yeah, they got that nigga playing Kurt Warner. At least right they there. got a little... They got their top three, I think, now, right? <laughs> you heard me, nigga. Yeah. They got their top three movies that you could watch now, though, right? Uh, Shazam. Shazam uh, Aquaman. Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad was tough. Yeah, I'm not watching Snyder Cut ever again. That shit was that four shit hours. Was five hours long, nigga. It took me... Four and a half weeks to watch that shit. <laughs> I was not sitting there watching Bro, that shit. And it was good. I said, damn, why they ain't do this the first time? It cut all the other bullshit. But hey. You watched Snake Eye? Yeah, I did. I ain't watched that shit. That shit was fire. I gotta watch you it. Like, oh, you I ain't watch it. it. That shit was fire. They, they did a whole new it origin. They kept skipping me. I was like, <coughs> they I did a whole new shit. origin. I, like, I fuck with him and G.I. Joe. They know? did a whole new origin to his story. It's not the old G.I. Joe movie shit. Mortal Kombat. Combat was dope. I need to watch. I should watch that. Relax. I should watch some shit today. Relax. That shit was. Fire. I'm waiting for part two. Yeah, but that shit. They always fire. kill the shit out of Kung Lao, though, bro. Violated my son. Cartoon. But he got his bodies in there. You know what I'm saying? He caught a couple nice ones. He did. Nigga, bro. He got violated. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. that Mortal Kombat was dope. Way better than the other ones. Looking forward to that shit again. Godzilla vs. King Kong. It was trash. It was trash? I ain't like it. I don't think it was trash. I ain't like it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think it was a good movie, bro. They could have had them get it in a few more times. Probably. Like That's probably was the fucking problem with it. I knew it was going to be three fights. I mean, the the thing that I liked about it was the inner earth shit and all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's, what's tough. That's what was tough about it for me, but... Other than that, it just... The niggas popped out with Mega Godzilla, bro. I had to beat that nigga ass. Wait, I understand what you're saying, but it was cool. I fuck with it. Um, you watch Free Guy? No, I haven't. That That's where uh, Ryan Reynolds... Yeah, you gotta watch that. I might um, watch that, yeah. What else? What other money, movies um, But Money Heist, we got the clothes. Venom. Right? Venom was dope. Carnage could have been better. The Matrix, we, we spoke, spoke about that. it. That shit was tough. Money Heist got the closure. Money out. Heist. 
I think that's oh. in my top three shows right now. But this year? It's getting crowded. For this year? All time. Oh, no, hell no. Yeah, bro. Top three shows all time? Like, all don't five. matter what genre? Yeah, don't matter. Bugging. It ain't bugging, bro. I'm already thinking of 10 that's better than that shit. 10? Hell yeah. I don't know. Boy Meets World. <laughs> Wayne's Brothers. Nigga, wow. Nah. All right. I think it probably surpassed um, just because it got dragged out and it wasn't supposed to. It got a little corny in the last seasons. I think it passed Prison Break. Oh, it does. Because Prison Break was one of my favorite shits. <laughs> it does. It can't pass The Wire. It can't no. pass Sopranos. No, that's why I, I might push it to 10. You know what I'm saying? You bugging out, bro. I bugged out. Yeah, you kind of bugged out. I'll it was it cool, because I put you on to it. You did, because I wasn't... Nah, that shit hard, though. This season was like, uh, The reason that I fall it back so much because of Tokyo, bro. I just don't like her. But she got <laughs> smoke. But there's so many characters, you know what I mean? That shit was tough. Money Heist was tough this year. Money Heist was tough. Right? Yeah, it was. It was. Other movies... Uh, that that shit on Amazon, what was it, Amazon, Tomorrow, uh, Tomorrow World or some shit, the Chris Pratt. I didn't see that. You gotta watch that, that shit was King tough. Richard was tough. King Richard was fire. King Sh- Richard was shout tough. Shout out to him. You watched The Unforgivable on Netflix with Sandra Bullock? Oh, no, I did not. There's a couple shit like that that's on Netflix. I like the blues shit with Halle Berry was cool. Red Notice was hard. I watched Red Notice. Netflix like was that. hard this year. Re- Netflix, next Netflix, like we had said when we spoke on Disney Plus, uh, starting this shit up. Mm-hmm. Netflix stepped it up. Tick, tick, boom. They had The Harder They Fall. Um, the Dead. The Harder They Fall was... Uh, Army of the Dead. And Army of Thieves and Army of the Dead. Them two joints was fire. You watched both of them? I watched the first. The you finished one. it? Yeah. The Thieves one, right? Mm-hmm. That was hard, right? Mm-hmm. The zombie ones is tough, too. It's almost like fucking the zombies in Call of Duty. <laughs> that shit is funny, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that but shit. the Harder They Fall is in the top this year. Top. Oh, the Harder, the harder They Fall. I, I love that shit. I love that. We needed a movie like that. Black fucking cowboys. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. But they were killing each other. Uh, they had Colin, the <laughs> Colin Kaepernick in black and white. That was tough. I still haven't watched that because I just. All right, let's uh, TV shows. Power. Raising Canaan. And you had Power Book. I just finished watching Raising it. Canaan. Again, I just finished watching it again. That season was tough. It's probably uh, that's Raising- probably the best show in that universe. Yes. Sorry. Raising Canaan had season one. Uh, this year and Power Book 2 Season 2 is out right now Yes They dropped BMF 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 was tough Yeah BMF was it I think for shows this year Um What? You think that was the best show this year? No I mean As far as like Popularity and traction The way people gravitated the people was on it Yeah I guess yeah To it early You usually don't I don't see that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how long we was watching Snowfall while people was watching Power and not paying Snowfall no attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to catch up. Um, I think Power was one of those where people were on it immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think BMF is that new show. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody's in tune and on Sunday night, Sunday morning, and I, don't, I see it for Power Book, so I see it for it a little bit. I just think the Raising Canaan one was written better than Yeah, and everybody else. not on that yet. Because everybody think that that's 50 Cent Story exactly. and all that shit. But I just think that that one is, is well written, bro. Yeah. And all the characters, I think the actors that they got in it is, that's probably the best Cast. cast that they have in the universe in that universe power e- even the first power book with ghost and all of them you know what i'm saying uh-huh. i think is the best acting crew that they got i just like all the actors bro it's tough son 
I can see that. I can see what you're saying. Wu Tang. Oh, Wu Tang. This season was incredible. Mm hmm. This is the second season, correct? Yeah, this was the second season. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to watch that over too, straight through yeah, one day. I just finished watching it. Wu-Tang. I was just watching everything again, just to make sure. I feel like this season was what people wanted in the first season. Yo, Swan Song was tough. You got to watch it. I'm going to watch it. got to watch it. That shit was hard. It's my son, a new blade, Marsha. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, Wu Tang was amazing. Uh, this season and how it went is exactly what everybody wanted in the first season. Mm-hmm. Then we won't be having three seasons. We only got two, so we got one more season of Wu Tang, and then it's over. But this season was great, man. You watch that movie Mass? Uh-uh. It's kind of crazy, bro. It's basically like a group session with. A mother and a father and a mother and a father. Mm-hmm. And those parents right there, their son is dead. And these parents right here are the parents to the per- to the kid that's responsible for it. <laughs> and they get crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a good movie, though. I got to watch that Don't Look Up, like you said. Don't Look Up is funny um, as fuck. It's soul was soul was good. You watched today. Soul. Yeah, that was this year, right? Yeah. Luca was it. okay. Mm. It was cool. It was cool. I just hate watching it because I think that that's real. I think we got reptilians and shit in this. Candyman movie. was trash. I didn't watch it. It was trash. I so it was Halloween was dope. I still didn't watch that either. I don't watch no scary shit. The Forever Purge was tough though. You didn't watch it. I think I did. The Purge in Western Towns? Oh no, I ain't watch that. I'm tired of Purge. <laughs> Shit the new saw. Alright, so just give me your name no order. What was your top movies and your top shows this year? You don't movies? have to give five, you could give three or whatever. Uh, definitely um Halloween shit was fire. Space Jam came out this year? Yes it did. Um, so what are you gonna say about that? <laughs> what else came out that was dope this year? We just named mad shit. I'm hot. You ever watch that? Uh, Nobody. Mm-mm. You watch that? That shit was tough too, bro. Nobody. Yeah. You ever watch that show? Um, Call on. Oh, Style? Judas and the Black Messiah. Oh, Judas and the Black Messiah. How we forget about that? Damn. Without remorse. Without remorse. I'll tell you right now. The Biggie documentary on Netflix, that came out this year. Did it? Yeah. All Dave Chappelle shit, he killed it this year. Spider-Man. Dave Chappelle had an immaculate year this year. Insecure, what you thought about the finale? You watched it? I haven't watched the season yet. It's finished, so I'm about to watch it. Watch it now. Uh, The Heart of Day 4 is definitely in there. I really like that movie. Judas and the Black Messiah. Judas and the Black Messiah. The Heart of They Fall. <coughs> Denzel had a corny wait, movie this year. Wait, show. wait, wait. We talk about the best the best thing that happened this year in entertainment, movie or TV wise, period. Like I said, album of the year was Donda, right? Mm-hmm. The best thing TV or movie this year, Squid Games. Oh, facts. Sorry. Don't don't call me. I don't want to go. Don't call me. <laughs> Squid Games is the best thing that happened this year. I'm sorry. Yeah, that shit took over my wildfire, bro. <clears throat> With it took the over, PlayStation bro. fucking logos. On I heard it. Joe Buttons talk about it. This was the first time in a minute that I had my niggas in the crib. We were sitting here getting high. And yeah. we said, yo, fuck it. Let's throw the first episode on. Put that shit on. And as soon as my boy moved in red light, green light, and got hit up, we said, 
oh shit, we wasn't paying attention the first 15 minutes of the movie. <laughs> the show. Let's start watching this yeah. now. <laughs> the first 15 minutes, I was like, yo, I don't want to watch this shit. Yo, that shit was that, tough. That shit, bro. play, we were smoking, talking a little bit. That shit said, wow. So, said, from oh. TV shows, Squid Games, Squid. Wu Tang, Snowfall, BMF. BMF Raising and Canaan. Raising Canaan. Disney shows, Hawkeye. Mm. What if mm. Falcon and Winter Soldier? Mm. Mandalorian. That shit was there fire go. too. Oh my god. Okay, you could put that in there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And movies, uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Yes. I that, think that's my favorite movie. That probably was the best movie best this year. Movie, yeah. Uh The Heart of They Fall. Halloween. Um, um King fuck, Richard. I fuck with uh Matrix, that shit was dope. I fuck with Spider Man, it was cool. Spider Man was Shang-Chi, cool. Shang-Chi, that was fine. They reached a lot. They reached a lot. They reached a lot. Yeah. I- it was, some, it was some cool shit Yeah if we missed anything Anybody You know Y'all could hit the comments Y'all could do what y'all do You know what I'm saying Um Yeah I think that's it right I like that Don't look up shit too Don't look up was cool Laughing at today's society Was funny Like niggas gotta wake up baby. Coming to America 2 came out. No. Some of the worst movies this year, you know what I mean? Thunder Force, that shit was trash. Hitman's Bodyguard was cool. Jungle Cruise was hard. Son. Uh huh. With the rap, Jungle Cruise. They did the Cruella joint. Coming to America was trash. Was doodle. Like, wet doodle. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Shot it on the block. Adam's Family 2 was hard. Had to watch it with Paige, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was some cool movies and yeah, shit, Yeah, there was man. a lot of shit that happened. But there. a lot of streaming shit. A lot of streaming shit. A lot shit. of streaming shit. And that's, what, that's the future, you know what I'm saying? That's true. That's the present love. in the future, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Dave Chappelle killed it this year. He definitely did, man. I think that was one of my highlights in entertainment. I think we got two specials from Yo, Ice Road was tough. You saw that? Ice Road? With Liam Neeses? No. That nigga doing action movies still? Spiral was trash. Yes, it was. It was some bad movies, man. So yeah, that was trash this year. <laughs> Fast Nine was trash. <laughs> Yo, son. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas took a Pontiac and went to space bro and stood up there for a while I didn't understand but you got anything else you wanna give to the people we about to get about it Fast 9 was trash Happy New Year's to everybody fucking up more the life pack, more health more wealth yeah Happy New Year's and then be safe know what I mean be I- vigilant Get let's, drunk, let's get, get high. Yeah, man. Get drunk, get high some more. Dance your ass off. Fuck the night away. Mm-hmm. Get rid of 2021 and come into this even year of 2022 with good energy, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Get crazy tonight. It's Friday. All right? You heard him? And if you value. Yeah, chill. You got to relax, bro. We ain't trying to get copywritten now. <laughs> Try to snatch that shit down. But yeah, yeah that, but man, that, that, we that. love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that stuck with us throughout the whole year. If you didn't, shout out to you too. You know what I'm saying? We was here for a little time. Yeah, bro. man. Shout out to everybody that we had on the show as guests this year. You yeah. know, we support y'all. We respect y'all. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else, man. Let's go into the new year. Let's make some new money. Let's meet some new people. Have some new adventures, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Let's yeah. just have fun, man. Leave the bullshit alone. Yeah, They're man. trying to kill us, man. If you're depressed, leave it in your bed before you leave the crib, you heard? Well, right, leave that depressed. It's all right. You ain't got to spread it. <laughs> spread COVID, not depression. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> spread butter. <laughs>
<laughs> we out here, man. So for Dog Coins, D, we can hit me. Y'all already know we about to do. We see y'all in the new year. We out. Yeah. Happy New Year.